Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar. Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar. Alhamdulillah, in Alhamdulillah, in Ahmedu, when a stain who, when a stagfiro, when I would be lahi bin Shururi and Fusina, women say yati amalina. May yehdi hila who fella mudil lella who women yudlil fella had yella, what ashadu and la ilaha in the law, what the hula shedi kala, what ashadu and Mohammed and Abduhu or a solo. Ya you had ladina a manu takun law, haka to party he, what at a mutuna illa were entum Muslimun. يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار وإنما توعدون لآت وما أنتم بمعجزين Allah is whom we praise, we praise Him and we thank Him. And we seek refuge in Him from the evil of our own souls and the evil of our actions. Whomsoever He guides, none can misguide Him. And whomever He leads astray, none can guide to the truth. And I bear witness that there is no one worthy of worship but God Almighty alone, and that Muhammad, peace and blessings upon him, is his last prophet, slave and messenger. O you who believe, be mindful of Allah as He should, as he should be minded, and do not die except. As Muslims, O mankind, be mindful of your Lord who created you from one soul, and from that soul created its mate, and from those two spread many men and many women. And be mindful of those you ask your rights from, and be mindful of the wombs that bore you, for indeed Allah is ever watchful over you. O you who believe, be mindful of Allah and speak the truth. 
He will guide you to righteous deeds and forgive you of your sins. And whomsoever obeys Allah and his messenger has achieved the greatest achievement. The best of speech is Allah's speech. And the best of guidance is Muhammad's guidance, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the worst of affairs are those newly introduced into faith. And everything innovated, introduced into faith is an innovation. And every innovation goes astray. And everything which goes astray leads to the hellfire. And that which was promised will come to pass. And there is nothing that can be done to avert it. In a hadith narrated by Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu, recorded by the scholars of hadith, such as Bukhari, Muslim, and others, in the Kutub al Sitta, and eternalized by Imam al Nawawi in his 40 hadith, a quintessential work of just 42 hadith that each and every Muslim should know read and understand and be aware of. In this hadith, Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he narrates from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he said, Ya ayyuhal nas, inna allaha tayyibun la yaqbalu illa tayyiba. O mankind, O people, Allah is good and he only accepts good. Allah is good, he only accepts good. Wa inna allaha amara, amara al-mu'minina bima amara bihi al-mursaleen. And indeed, Allah has ordered the believers just as he has commanded his messengers. When he said, Ya ayyuhannas, ya ayyuhannas, <clears throat> or I'm sorry, just when he, when he said, Ya ayyuhar rusulu kulu min, min al-tayyibati wa'amalu saliha. O messengers, eat from the good and do righteous deeds. Inni bima ta'amaluna alim. Indeed, I am, full aware, I, am, I am well aware of all that you do in Surah Al-Mu'minun. He then said, Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu, kulu min tayyibati ma razaqnakum, washkuru lillahi in kuntum iyahu ta'budun. O you who believe, eat from the good that we have sustained you with and show gratitude to Allah if you truly worship Him alone. The beginning of this hadith sets out a very important principle for us. And that is that Allah is good and he accepts nothing but good. And it is an imperative in the life of every believer to make sure that they strive to earn in a way which is halal for them. To earn in a way which is pure and good and acceptable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In a time of economic strife, in a time when it can be difficult to find work, in a time when there can be extreme volatility in all manners or in all areas of life, it can seem easy to try and take quick profit. It can seem enticing to want to make any money by any means possible by hook or crook. But understand that every dollar that you earn, every cent that you earn, you will be asked about. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not accept anything except what is tayyib, what is good, what is wholesome, what is pure. And that this is something that he ordered his messengers with. Ya ayyuhar rusulu kulu min tayyibat O messengers, eat from the good things, eat from the wholesome things. Wa'amalu saliha and do righteous deeds. Many times, we differentiate between the two. We're very righteous in certain areas of our Islam and our faith. But when it comes to how we earn our wealth, we're not paying enough attention to whether it is good and wholesome and acceptable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu. Oh, you who believe, eat from the good, wholesome things that we have provided you. And show gratitude towards Allah. If you truly worship Him alone. Meaning that a sign of our worship of Allah is how we make a living. Earning a halal living. Earning a wholesome living earning a good, pure living is that which is a sign of our worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're not separate things. 
it can sometimes seem easy to want to go towards that which is questionable or that which is impermissible at times. But we should understand that none of that would be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In another hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, لَن تَزُولَ قَدَمَا عَبْدٍ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ حَتَّى يُسْأَلُ عَنْ أَرْبَعَ in another hadith in the Sahihain that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, or in the Sahih, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the two feet of a slave will not move on the day of judgment until he is asked about four things. One of those four things, وَعَنْ مَالِهِ مِنْ أَيْنَ اكْتَسَبَهُ وَفِيمَا أَنْفَقَهُ And he will be asked about his wealth. Where did he earn it? And how did he spend it? Where did he earn it and where did he spend it? Did he earn it from sources which were pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Did he spend it on things that were pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Sometimes we say, it doesn't matter where I earn it as long as I give enough of it away. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informs us that he only accepts that which is good. He only accepts that which is pure. In the remainder of the hadith, the hadith of Abu Hurairah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, O mankind, indeed Allah is good and wholesome. He only accepts that which is good and wholesome. And he ordered the believers with what he has ordered his messengers when he said, O messengers, eat from the wholesome things we have provided you and do good deeds. Indeed, I am well aware of all that you do. Oh, oh, and he said, O oh, you who believe, eat from the good that we have provided you and show gratitude to Allah if you truly worship him alone. The Prophet wasallam then continued, ثُمَّ ذَكَرَ الرَّجُلَ يَطِيلُ السَّفَرْ أَشْعَثَ أَغْبَرْ يَمُدُّ يَدَيْهِ إِلَى السَّمَاءِ Then the Prophet wasallam mentioned a man who traveled far and long He's disheveled and dusty, raising his hands to the sky in dua. Ya Rab, Ya Rab, O oh Lord, O oh Lord. Wa mat'amuhu haram, wa malbasuhu haram, wa mashrabuhu haram, wa ghuddiya bil haram. He says, this man raises his hands to the sky. O oh Lord, O oh Lord. He's dirty. His hair is messy. His clothes are messy. He's hoping to be answered. Raises his hands. Oh Lord, oh Lord, Ya Rab. But his food is haram. And his drink is haram. And his clothes are haram. And he was nourished by the haram. So how can his dua be answered? His food is haram, his clothes are haram, his drink is haram, he was nourished, fed by the haram. How can his dua be answered? He might have been eating halal food, drinking halal food, wearing clothes which are permissible. How did they become haram? Because the source of his wealth had been haram. So from the most frightening things that can stop our dua from being answered is to have sources of haram income in our lives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to that which is wholesome and good. May he make us followers of the messengers in, those, in, in being those who consume the good and worship Allah alone. أقول ما تسمعون وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ورسائل المسلمين من كل ذنب فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. Alhamdulillahi wahda 
والصلاه والسلام على من لا نبي بعده وعلى اله واصحابه ومن اتبعهم باحسان الى يوم الدين all praises due to allah alone and may his peace and blessings be upon he chosen by his lord to be the last prophet and messenger his family his companions and all those who follow him in righteousness and follow them in righteousness until the day of judgment it's amazing that many of us are so concerned about the source of the food that we eat. We make sure that our meat is hand-slaughtered by a Muslim that we know, that it comes from a reputable source, that it comes from a store that we can trust, that it comes from farms that have been sourced properly, that are humane and treat the animals correctly. We're very particular about the ingredients that we consume when we go out. We make sure that there's no wine that's been added to the food when it's been cooked. We make sure that it hasn't been mixed with a griddle that has some type of pork or other type of haram meat on it. We can be very, very particular about that. But it, what's more amazing than that is that we can be particular down to the molecule on those things that we eat but we're not particular down to the scent about what we earn. It's a very scary proposition to understand that we might be fulfilling a sign of the day of judgment. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in the hadith that's narrated in Sahih al-Bukhari, يأتي على الناس زمان لا يبال المرء ما أخذ منه أمن الحلال أم الحرام There will come a time when a person will not care where he takes what he needs. Is it from halal or from haram? My message to you this Juma is contemplate long and hard about the sources of your wealth. Make sure that the things that you do, even when you have a source of wealth, a job that provides you with permissible wealth, permissible earnings, that you do your best that in fulfilling those services, in selling those goods, in providing what you provide to add value to society, that you not only embody and earn from things that are permissible for you, but you also make sure that the way you do so provides an insight into your character, into your faith as a Muslim. Avoid those sources of income that are, that are haram and also avoid the actions that can lead to sullying and to disturbing the purity and the wholesomeness of those things that are earned. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us of this when he says, وَاتَّقُوا يَوْمًا تُرْجَعُونَ فِيهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ ثُمَّ تُوَفَّى كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَّا كَسَبَتْ وَهُمْ لَا يُطْلَمُونَ In Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says what means, and be mindful of the day in which you will return to Allah. Then every soul will be given that which it has, it has earned, and they will not be wronged in the least. Allahumma gfir lana dhunubana, wa israfana fi amrina, wa thabbit aqdamana ya rabbil alameen. Allahumma rifa'anna al-bala' wal waba' wal mihan wal fitan, ma zahra minha wa ma batana ya rabbil alameen. O oh Allah, we seek, we seek forgiveness for our sins and our transgressions and our affairs. And O oh Allah, make our feet firm, Ya Rabbil Alameen. O oh Allah, raise, up from among, raise, raise off of us this pandemic and these sicknesses, these trials and tribulations, those that are apparent and those that are, that are hidden. Allah, muktubna la rizq al-halal. Allah, muktub lana rizq al-halal. Allah, muktubna la rizq al-halal. Ya Razaq, Ya Razaq. Ya man biyadihi al-mulk. O oh Allah, write for us permissible and wholesome sustenance. O oh Allah, write for us permissible and wholesome earnings. O oh Allah, write for us and give us permissible earnings. Ya Razzaq, O oh He who provides when none other can, can provide. Allah, makfina bi halalika an haramika wa agnina bi fadlika amman siwak. O oh Allah, suffice us with the halal and allow us to, 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 to avoid the haram and allow us to suffice ourselves from everyone else except for you. Ibadullah, inna Allah ya'mur bil adli wal ihsan wa ita'i dhil qurba wa yanha anil fahshai wal munkari wal baghi ya'idukum la'allakum tathakkaroon 
أذكر الله العزيز الجليل يذكركم واشكروه على نعمه يزدكم ولا ذكر الله أكبر وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وأقم الصلاة